Hey, there he is. Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to my channel and today I will be reacting to episode 6 of Chilling Adventures of Sabrina and if you are just like me and you are loving every moment of this series and you have picked the right person to watch react to the show because if we both love it, we're going to react in the same way and if it's a little bit over the top, then who the fuck cares? Like, you know, let's just enjoy the show and I'm really excited to see the fallout from their dreams and their nightmares and see if that has any impact on their character development. But also, Sabrina's hunt for Miss Wardwell's identity and who the fuck she actually is. Let's go. I want answers. Me too. Yes, of course. And, um, you asked me what I am, but you know. I believe you've known for a while. Or a, a witch. Yes. This time? You've been lying to protecting you. It was Edward that asked me to look after you. Of course, she brings the dad card in. Father? I. I was his acolyte. Oh dear. Before that ill-fated trip, Edward charged me with keeping an eye on you. His only daughter. Is that why you were encouraging me to transfer? Because you knew what I was talking about all along. Going to the academy, getting baptized. Yes, precisely. I don't understand. If my aunts were taking care of me, why would my father ask you to do the same? He was cautious. Overly cautious, especially when it came to you, the apple of his eye. I was to be invisible, but... Omnipresent circle of you see. Forgive me, sir. Please. You are just like him, Miss Wardwell. Keeping secrets from me, manipulating me. Consider your obligation to the Spellman family done. From now on, stay away from me. Yes, Sabrina. Good. Good, good, good. She saw it, she confronted it, she cut it off. Oh my god. You. The crop shirt. Dang boy. You are godless. Boy, your soul is filled with fear. And you will die for it. There is Ugh. no faith in you, girl. So as punishment for an abomination, boy girl. And he will smite you. Creepy as fuck. Outside. They're full like old school medicine. It's a rather trying time for us. Carrying a child of night to term should be the most joyous 13 months in a witch's life. I agree, except two of our children have already been called home by the Dark Lord before their births. Come on, I mean... Is demonic possession even the There's thing? There's something else. Yeah, you just experienced it. Um, I know she's playing it cool. So but... Kind of crazy. But I like saw Uncle Jesse in my house last night, and he was saying horrible things to me. And really. We have a big problem. Mephistopheles <laughs> save us from the melodramatics of a teenage witch. That was cool, love. Fine, but Susie's Uncle Jesse has been possessed by a demon. Oh, how do you know that, love? Oh, only all my friends. What's psychological? Demons prey on your fears, your shame, etc. They all. Harvey Ross and Susie had to tie Uncle Jesse up. They all touched him, and they've all had visions or visitations since then. And get them to bathe in a bit of blessed water from the Sea of Galilee. But in what way, though? What are you doing here, demon? What do you want? Spoil, debase, and corrupt humans. Starting with this vessel, 
And when I'm done, I'll move on to your friends who lay in flies and tie me like an animal. You know, before things get bad for you, if you think I'm bluffing, I'll happily introduce you to another of your kind that I... You're not even here. How rude. Oh, Get out of there! Get out of there! She's what now? <laughs> Jesse's demon isn't Sumerian at all. It's just a cheeky bastard with a fondness for wordplay. Ice cream? Demons have an awful sense of humor. You think I'm chicken shit? No, I don't. I'm coming with you. No, no, that's not what I want. I don't care what you want. I'm not letting you go into the mine shaft alone in the dead of night. Besides, you're gonna need someone to help sneak you in. Oh, there's that bird again. Well, I'm glad you haven't lost your sense of humor, at least. <laughs> but that's what, exactly what she means. But they're just separated. Why would you separate? Oh my god, Harvey's gone. Miss Warfell, what are you doing here? Exactly what I promised your father I would do. Ugh, oh, bitch, take a so lesson. you don't come to him. Harvey! Harvey, what is it? It's here. I saw it over, over there. It, it's just rocks. Someone tell Sabrina, please, why that is. Exorcisms are a Catholic rite in which male priests call upon the false god for assistance to expel demons. Correct. Now, as I was saying, the ancient Assyrians particularly were, uh, <laughs> yes, Miss Spellman. My friend's uncle is being possessed by a demon, Apophis. What if this brings unwanted attention to the witches of Greendale? And Nick enter the scene. About to help Sabrina. You want to talk about it? What? Whatever's on your mind. I wish I could, Nick, but I've got... Let me guess. You're a rebel, Spellman. That's how I like marches. Nicholas, uh, to be clear, uh, he's I forward. have a boyfriend. Yes. But you also have two natures. You go to two schools. Why not date two guys? Huh? Armed with the proper tools, at least. I'm sorry, are you actually suggesting that my niece perform an exorcism? I stopped by Susie's house on my way home from the academy. She and her dad aren't there, so if we act fast. She's determined to, let's see.